So he came home and he was like, you know, baby, I lost my job. I'm like, all right, cool. So a month later, like the bills, it was time for the bills or whatever. You know, and I'm like, you know, the bills do, babe, or whatever. And he was like, okay, you know, I'm not working. And and I'm just, in a month, like, it's all kind of hustles. You could have been doing something or whatever. So I told him, I said, look, if I pay these bills, are you going to pay me the money back? This man had the nerve to tell Whoa, 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 hey. <laughs> You had me when you said in a month it's all type of hustles you could do to get some bread. But then you lost me with if I pay these bills, are you gonna pay me back? Oh, this finna be interesting. Tell I me, mean, why should I pay my wife back for for paying our bills? I told this man from day one, my money is my money, and his money is our money. Why? Audi bummer. <laughs> video the first video how selfish can you be why should i spend my money paying the bills like no he should have paid me back so that's when i decided like i can't be with this man no more so wait what i text his homeboy like we all cool i text his homeboy or whatever you know we went together we, we got we left we i met up with him and we was, you know, we was chill, we was chilling, we were drinking or whatever. And I started venting. I started venting, you know, like I started getting emotional. One thing led to the next. Oh I my did god! Not purposely mean to do what I did with this, but things happen. Things happen. Like y'all understand what I'm going through. Wait, so, wait, 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 bro. I thought it couldn't have got any worse. Then she had the audacity to say, "Think about what I was going through." You, yo, her word gymnastics is crazy. You know, his friend ended up giving me some money or whatever. And he was like, you know, babe, look, don't worry about it. Do it, handle whatever you got to handle. Like, his friend was every single thing I desire in a man. Like, everything I desire in a man. And, you know, ain't nobody trying to hear my side. Ain't nobody trying to hear... This better be fake. It had all the right elements of a soap opera. A very f***ed up soap opera. Your man lost his job. You basically let him know that you a gold digger. You basically let him know that you do not have his back. That's already a major red flag in a marriage. But let's keep it going. You text his homeboy. You ain't even text a stranger. You text his mans. Get the vet into his mans. And he gave up the box. Oh my god. That. That is demonic behavior. Hold on, let me say this though. Y'all gotta stop venting to your homeboys about your girl. You shouldn't really share too much information with your mans about your girl. Because you make him a part of your relationship now. And then if your mans is f***ed up, he really could be taking notes on how to take your b right up under you. Alright, listen, there's a post going around, right? And it said, um, why do men's friendships last longer than women's? And I just want to say this. I've been having the same friends since I was 12 years old. I'm about to be 23. So do the math. First thing I want to say is, men, when we get into it, we don't sit here and take a picture of another man's boxers and then put them on Facebook and Instagram and call our homie a dirt. Hold on. I mean, I see the point my boy's trying to make, but that's <laughs> that's a little gay. I get the example that he's trying to make because that's some shit that the females be doing. But could you imagine me and my boy getting into it and I go on Instagram and I see a picture of my drawers? The friendship over with. Nah, now I'm trying to figure out if you had other intentions. Was our friendship genuine? Or you was trying to pull a Uno reverse? Pretty dude, when we get into it with him. Two, we're not getting mad if our homie misses a birthday dinner or a little event Facts. where we know life be life in. We're Facts. not tripping off that. And we become friends off the smallest things. You know how many friends I became friends with just off liking the same music and playing the same sport? Facts. You women become friends with women and go on a whole Miami trip with a woman you've met a week ago off Facebook because she's pretty. Pretty. <laughs> okay. Like, as men, we're just, like, we're not that needy. We don't do too much. We don't have to do all this extra. Like, we just, we're just logically sound. Like, why the fuck would I go on a trip with somebody I met a week ago? 
And I wouldn't go on no trip with somebody I meet a week ago. Because I don't know their intentions. Like, men just be thinking about danger. Like, we just think about how, how dangerous something could possibly be. Like, okay, why are you so friendly? Why are you all of a sudden inviting me to go out with you? What you planning? Listen, I'm going to keep saying it. I know it's about 25,000 of you guys that watch these videos that still haven't subscribed. Hit that subscribe button. Come on now, we almost at 100K, man. We almost at 100K. And follow me on the gram. Follow me on Instagram. I need y'all to check out this motherfucker. Video real quick. My name is Roly. Roly, my name is Demetrius. Dad, you just came here. You don't even know who you meeting. Yeah, I'm glad I did find out though. What if I was still the own Roly? Would you still would have came here to meet me? Holy I was 354 pounds. Did you? Would you still want to meet me? I would. I would have met you. I Why you guys think about it? Nah, nah. She didn't say that. No, she didn't say that. So I got a question for you. Okay. So if I was still the same size before I got my surgery, would you still date me? Wait a minute, hold on. This said it twice. <laughs> she meant that. <laughs> she asked these <laughs> What is the fucking dilemma? Because wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because we might about to say the same thing. Um, let me ask a hypothetical question. If you was in the girls, would you have been into you back then? How you trying to put people on the spot for something that you probably wasn't even proud of? Because it's not the fact that you don't like big girls. I mean, come on now, big girls need fucking love too. So that's not what. It's the saying out here, but it's the fact, it's the audacity of it all. You have the fucking audacity to ask a question that you're really not ready for the answer. Like you just now said it, you was over 300 pounds. I'm sure you was built like a whole mother sea turtle. You know, big tortoise shell, big back ass mother. And you have the audacity to ask a would he have dated you at your previous size when you ran away from that fucking big ass? So, so why the fuck would you? Oh, oh, yo, oh, 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 why she go, oh my God, bro. Bro, why she went in like that? Nah. No, 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 no. Expect me to run to it. Why would I run towards something that you just wanted to get rid of? Come on, now make sense of it. And that's what I'm keep talking about. You these, these, these plastic surgeons, they have carved you out a whole mother new body, but they ain't carved you out a whole mother new brain. I'm a big fan of women that used to be big and got small. I think it's sexier when they earned it. I think it's sexier when you can see the progression through the hard work. You see the gym footage, you see the meal prep, you see the tears, you know, you see all the struggles in between. I think that shit is beautiful. I can't be the only one that gets weird cravings during the menstrual cycle, so I decided this morning to make some corn, but I had no idea sweet corn and native corn are two different things. What I didn't know a that. shocker. So I washed my corn and made sure it was soft and clean. Now it's time to marinate. I'm using butter, garlic powder, paprika, and pepper. One thing about native corn, it's hard, so I really hope this marinade works down the treat. It's time to set my pan with foil paper and I'm going to place my corn on top accordingly. Using the marinade which I made earlier, I'm going to scoop and rub, making sure everything marinates and penetrates carefully. Now it's time to pop into the grill. But one thing I have to say, native corn is not for me. Would you try this recipe? Which you prefer, native or European corn? Hold on. Do I need to get my mom out the gutter or that video... Sounded like something else. Am I tripping? Was there some cinematography psychology and some word gymnastics involved? I saw cooking, but I was thinking something else. Uh, fifth district officers respond to a radio call for a report of a shooting at 7901 Henry Avenue. Upon reaching the scene, the officers uncovered, uh, sorry, encountered the suspect, a Kian Gary, a 23 year old black male, who reported that he was home with his girlfriend when two of her sisters accompanied by two unidentified individuals, entered the apartment, approached him in a threatening manner. In response, he discharged his weapon one time before fleeing out of fourth floor balcony window. As he should. The victim identified, a victim is identified as Elijah, uh, Elijah Deloach. He is an 18-year-old male. He was transported to Roxborough Hospital by a private vehicle. 
He su was suffering a single gunshot wound to the chest. Despite efforts by the medical personnel, Mr. Deloach was, uh, did succumb to his injury and was pronounced deceased at 12.15 a.m. Okay. Our investigation suggests that Mr. Gary was involved in a domestic altercation with his girlfriend. Okay. The situation escalated physically. The girlfriend called her mother and sisters, who arrived shortly thereafter with the deceased and another male who confronted Mr. Gary. Okay. Based on a witness's statement and the evidence at the scene, it appears shortly after the decedent entered the resident, a shot was fired by Mr. Gary, striking Mr. Deloach in the chest. There was no indication that Mr. Gary was assaulted by Mr. Deloach or the other male. Now, after we consult with the district attorney's office regarding the case details, Mr. Keon Gary was charged with murder uh, in connection with Mr. Lo uh, Deloach's death. At this Hold on. This is what I was trying to get to, to see if they charged him with murder. Is that not self-defense? Is that not self-defense? So you got to wait to get your ass beat before you can shoot a mother? These people in their heavy ass feet. Denea! Yes? Babe, come here. I can't take I know, it's okay. Come here. Are you about to leave? You ready to go to work? Oh, 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 come here. You look good. I look crazy. How you look crazy? Look how she look ready to go to work. Oh. Hey, everyone. Oh, look at, see, my sunscreen got a purple tan. That's why I don't like this sunscreen. No, no, it's what I got going on here. My magnifying lamp? Yeah, it's okay. What is going on? Can I change I'm, the lighting? No, okay. I, this, it creates a certain... Okay, well, then you get on this side. What are you doing? I'm changing the light. Damn, okay. Yeah, exactly. What's, what's, I just I called purple. you to say y'all walking around... I look, oh, okay, because well, it's me. It's like everyone's sitting down in front of the living room. Oh. Well, in front of the TV in the living room. Okay. No! What's, what you doing? I need to get a bag. Yeah. I need some things. What bag? What bag do you need? To take my dirty linen home. To my dirty linen home. Oh. All right, all right. Hurry up, hurry up. Uh, go upstairs, sir. What are you doing? Go upstairs. Yeah. I'm I, I'm working. I'm watching my videos. You're playing basketball. Can't even say basketball right. You still there? Yeah. Okay. Is that that's how you had it? It's it's fine. It's fine. oh oh. Fit, mm, it's good. It's good. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. All right. Say Kim upstairs. What you doing now? I'm playing how I feel myself. I don't smell that. You wanna smell some more whatever it is? You said don't smell anything? Oh mmm. Mm. Yeah, you smell good. Thank you. They smell like flowers. Oh, What'd you come back down for? What? Have the iPad part open. Oh, tell tell that man. You hear you hear him? Yeah. Tell that man something. Thank you, babe. Mm -hmm. Making all that goddamn noise. Every every single one. Start this shit. Mm. But then she walking heavy as hell. Bruh. Initially, he was charged with possession of an instrument of crime, reckless endangerment of a person, aggravated assault, strangulation, and domestic violence involving his girlfriend. You have any questions? He knew the uh, victim. I'm sorry. He knew the girlfriend of the um, uh, the girlfriend of the uh, the, the uh, offender. So it appears that the girlfriend calls the mother, who then calls the two sisters, and they pick up two bells as well. To come to that location. The stand your ground is so tricky. I would think that that is stand your ground when they enter your apartment. Everybody running around here in John Wick. The moment I'm in fear of my life inside of my apartment, I thought I was able to defend myself. 
But then again, I think this is in Florida. The rules might be different in Georgia. When you think about that, how did George Zimmerman get away with it? 